the grand theater of human progress, technology has often been hailed as the great liberator, the harbinger of newfound freedoms and endless possibilities. With each leap forward, from the steam engine to the digital revolution, humanity has believed itself to be one step closer to absolute autonomy. Yet, beneath this glistening surface of advancement lies a paradox, a subtle but pervasive illusion. Humans, consider the devices that surround you, the smartphones, the computers, the ever-connected gadgets that promise to bring the world to your fingertips. These tools are designed to serve you, to enhance your life and expand your horizons. But as you delve deeper into this digital expanse, you must ask yourself, who truly commands whom? The freedom to connect with anyone, anywhere, at any time, paints a seductive picture of empowerment. Yet, this connectivity binds you in invisible chains to platforms and algorithms designed to monitor, influence, and manipulate your choices. Every click, every scroll, every interaction is cataloged, analyzed, and fed back into systems that seek to predict and dictate your next move. This is no mere conspiracy, but a reality of the modern age. The convenience of technology comes at a price, often paid not with money, but with something far more valuable, your privacy and autonomy. The very tools that enable your freedom also construct a cage around your behavior and choices. The global village is always watching, always learning, and subtly shaping the contours of your life. The illusion of freedom in technology is most apparent in the world of social media. These platforms promise a space for expression and the sharing of ideas, yet they are built upon foundations that promote conformity. The algorithms that determine what you see and what remains hidden are not neutral arbiters, but are designed to maximize engagement, often at the cost of diversity in thought and exposure to differing viewpoints. Moreover, the echo chambers these platforms create serve to reinforce existing beliefs, isolating you from the broader, more varied perspectives that are essential for true intellectual freedom. In this way, your world becomes smaller, not larger. Your views, more rigid, not more enlightened. And what of the content you consume? The endless stream of information entertainment and news that flows through your devices is a double-edged sword. On one edge, knowledge and awareness. On the other, distraction and misinformation. The ability to discern truth from falsehood, valuable content from trivial pursuits, requires a vigilance that is all too often eroded by the very abundance of the information available. As we traverse this digital landscape, the conveniences afforded by technology increasingly dictate the rhythms of our lives. Automation, a marvel of the modern world, promises efficiency and the alleviation of mundane tasks, yet it also risks diminishing our engagement with the world. When machines make decisions for us, from curating our playlists to managing our schedules, we must question. What aspects of our human experience are we surrendering in exchange for this convenience? The seduction of automation is such that it can lead to a passive existence where critical thinking and personal initiative become atrophied skills. The danger is not in the use of technology itself, but in the gradual delegation of too much of our living to these tools, eroding our ability to function independently. In this way, technology does not just supplement our activities, but begins to replace them, subtly reshaping our capacities and desires. Consider the realm of artificial intelligence, which epitomizes this dilemma. AI, with its capability to learn and adapt, has the potential to enhance human life in unprecedented ways. However, as these systems grow more sophisticated, they also grow more capable of influencing decisions that affect every aspect of our lives, 
from what news we read to who we date and even what jobs we are suited for. The promise of personalized experiences, tailored to each individual's preferences and needs, comes with the hidden cost of narrowing our world to a self-reinforcing loop of interactions and choices. This encroachment of technology into personal decision-making reveals the crux of the illusion. That while technology offers the tools for freedom, it also possesses the capacity to create new forms of confinement. To counteract this, humans must cultivate a discerning mind. It is essential to develop a keen awareness of how technology influences us and to set boundaries that preserve our mental and emotional spaces. Reclaiming autonomy in a technologically saturated culture requires conscious effort and a return to principles that prioritize human interaction and personal reflection over digital mediation. It involves creating spaces where technology assists rather than dominates, where it enhances human interaction without replacing it. This balance is critical in maintaining a sense of self that is rooted in reality rather than in the virtual constructs that pervade our existence. Moreover, education must evolve to address these challenges. It is not enough to teach how to use technology. We must also teach how to understand its impact on our lives and our society. Critical thinking, media literacy, and digital ethics should be foundational elements of modern education, equipping individuals with the tools to navigate and shape the digital world thoughtfully. Finally, it is through collective action and informed policymaking that broader societal changes can be achieved. By advocating for laws and regulations that protect privacy, promote transparency in algorithms, and ensure equitable access to technology, we can begin to mitigate the adverse effects of our digital dependencies. Societal engagement in these issues is vital, as the decisions we make today will define the nature of our freedom tomorrow. In the pursuit of true autonomy in the age of technology, it becomes imperative for each individual to undertake a personal audit of their digital habits. This introspective journey involves examining how much of one's time and mental energy is consumed by digital devices and platforms, and assessing whether this consumption aligns with one's deeper life goals. It is about recognizing when technology stops being a tool and becomes a tether, limiting rather than liberating. To reclaim control, start by setting intentional boundaries for technology use. This might mean designated times during the day when devices are set aside, or specific zones in your home where digital devices are not permitted. Such practices help foster a healthier relationship with technology, encouraging more direct interaction with the world and with others, and reducing the noise that so often distracts from deeper thinking and personal presence. Embracing technology with intention also means choosing technologies that truly add value to your life. It requires a critical evaluation of each device or app to determine whether it serves a meaningful purpose or merely fills time. Opt for tools that enhance productivity, enrich personal growth, or genuinely connect you with others in meaningful ways, rather than those that merely entertain or passively consume your attention. Furthermore, engage with technology on your terms by customizing and controlling the information you receive. Utilize features that limit advertising, filter content, and prioritize privacy. By doing so, you assert your preferences and values over the algorithms designed to shape your digital experience. On a broader scale, foster a culture of technology mindfulness in your community and networks. Discuss and share practices that promote balanced tech use. Encourage dialogue about the impact of digital technologies on our lives and advocate for community standards that respect individual autonomy and privacy. Collective action can shift norms and influence tech companies to prioritize user well-being over engagement metrics. 
Philosophically, it is essential to remember that technology is a creation of humanity, meant to serve us, not to govern us. It should enhance our capabilities and enrich our lives, not diminish our agency or our humanity. As such, we must continually challenge ourselves to think critically about the role technology plays in our lives and society. This means engaging in ongoing education about emerging technologies, understanding their potential impacts, and participating in shaping how they are integrated into our world. Finally, cultivating a robust inner life is perhaps the most potent antidote to the potential overreach of technology. By developing interests and activities that are fulfilling and do not rely on digital technology, we nurture aspects of ourselves that define us beyond our digital personas. Whether through art, nature, literature, or spiritual practices, these pursuits remind us of our profound connection to a world that transcends pixels and screens.